In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the stroke text animation right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you first just want to begin by creating some text. So we're going to go up to the horizontal type tool and we'll select that. Of course, the keyboard shortcut for this is Command T. And then once you've selected that, all you have to do is just click anywhere in this video and then just type out a word of your choice. Then we're just going to go over to our character window and we are just going to change the font. So I'm going to keep this as a veneer. We can increase the size if we want. We can make this heavy and we can add all sorts of different effects here. Don't worry about the color for now because we're going to amend that later on. And then once you're happy with that, you just want to turn on the proportional grid and place this in the center. Now, once you're happy with the look of that, we're just going to select the text. We'll right click. We'll go to create and select create shapes from text. There we go. So as you can see, we've now got the text in its own shape layer. So we can just delete the original text layer. So we've just got this shape layer here. Then we'll go up to the fill and the stroke at the top of After Effects. We'll select the fill word, not the box. We'll select fill word and then just select no fill. So that's this option here. We'll press OK. And as you can see, we've now just got the stroke. So we'll go back up here and we'll increase the stroke width by pulling up here. So I'm just going to pull it up to around 10, roughly somewhere around there. And then from there, I'm just going to select the drop down arrow on the shape outline layer. We'll go to add and select trim paths. Then we'll go into the main trim path menu. And as you can see, if I pull start up, it's going to animate off. And if I pull it down, it's going to animate back on. And the same thing with end. So we'll go to the very beginning. Make sure end is at 0%. We'll create a brand new keyframe on end by selecting the stopwatch icon. Then we'll go maybe a second or two over to the right. And we'll pull this all the way up to 100%. Now when we play this back, you can see we've got this really awesome stroke animation. It's not quite finished though. And that is because I animated that to 99 and not 100. So there you go. That is how this effect looks. It's extremely quick at the moment. So if you wanted to slow this down, then all you have to do is just increase the gap between those keyframes and it will do it very slowly. Now, if you wanted to animate this off, all you have to do is just the exact same thing here, but just do it in reverse. So we'll pull these keyframes closer together. We'll create a brand new keyframe on 100. Then we'll move over and we'll pull this down to zero. And now you can see it animates on and then it animates back off again, like so. Now you can go ahead and change the stroke color up here by selecting one of these colors, but the problem is I find just selecting a solid color just looks a bit. So we'll select the stroke word here. Then we'll go into this third option here, which is a linear gradient. We'll press okay. Then we'll select this box here and we'll select this first color to be, let's go for a nice pinky purple kind of color. We'll select the second arrow and we'll select more of a blue. So somewhere around here, we'll press OK on that. And as you can see, we've got this really nice gradient effect, although at the moment it's only starting about there. But there you go. That is how you create this stroke text animation effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.